travels of Mary Ward. Greetings from Montgomery Ward, who bring you another friendly human experience from the life of one of their customers. Today we find Mary in the home of Mrs. Sawyer, who is asking Mary about papering her upstairs bedrooms. If you have one of Ward's beautiful wallpaper books, get it out and you can follow Mary's suggestion. Mrs. Sawyer and Mary have just come downstairs from inspecting the room. Here they are. Sit down, Miss Ward. Thanks. Here, have this easy chair. Well, I mustn't stay too long, though. I have several places to stop, and we must get back to Kansas City tonight. But as I was saying... Uh, yes, about the papering. Yes. Well, rooms like those with the sloping ceiling do present a problem in papering. If you run the border around at the height of the wall, your room is apt to look all ceiling. Besides, the room will look lower yet. And then you can't use enough of the wallpaper, which is always the pity of the two papers from a decoration standpoint. That's right. Uh, well, um, what would you think of papering all of it with the wallpaper and not using any ceiling paper? One of my neighbors told me that that was what she did. No, I, I, I wouldn't like that either. I've seen that done, too. But that also makes your room look lower. The ceiling, that is. You see, that's the reason ceiling paper is usually made lighter than the wall. Uh, that makes the ceiling look higher. The best thing that I've seen done is to run your wallpaper up a ways onto those sloping sides. Don't put your border right at the angle of the slope of the side, but higher up onto the slope. Mark a line before you start so there'll be no guesswork, and then run your wallpaper up just that high. I see what you mean. Mm -hmm. Yes, a person could do that. I wish my wallpaper book had come from Ward's before you got here today. Well, why don't you let me leave you mine? I have one out in my car. Oh, you're liable to need it. No, I won't. No, not today. I'm going back to the plant tonight. Uh, just a minute here. Oh, Clifford. Ma'am? Run over to the car and bring me the wallpaper book out of the side pocket, will you, son? Sure. Goodness gracious, he's dirt from head to foot. Do you mind, Miss Ward? <laughs> no. Tom could put off setting those roses just as well as not. No, I don't mind. I want Clifford to get all this sort of thing he can these three days. It'll give him a different idea of life. Well, there you are, son. Well, thank you a lot. You're welcome. Having a good time? <laughs> you bet. I gotta hurry, though, because we're just gonna set one. Set one? Sure. Mr. Sawyer says you set things like roses and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. But you plant seeds. <laughs> Boy, I'm wanting something. Good. Well, you run along. <laughs> uh, certainly good of Mrs. Sawyer to bother with Clifford the way he is. Oh, he likes having him with him. He certainly misses our boy. Mm. This is the first year he's been away at school, you see. Oh, yes. Well, he would miss him. Uh, now, here, you keep this. Well, please. thanks. But my book will probably be here tomorrow. Well, if it is, give it to one of the neighbors. Uh, there'll be somebody wanting one. You yes, know. my neighbor next door was saying last night that she was going to write in for a wallpaper book. Mm -hmm. I'll tell her she needn't do it. She can have mine. Aren't these the loveliest patterns in here, Miss Ward? I think they are. And the samples are so big, you can really see what they'll look like. Yes, that's the intention. Uh, these papers have this new self-trim edge, too, I see. Yes, so that makes papering go so much faster, even if you have it done by an expert. Now, if you'll compare the prices with your stores, you'll find the papers are sold by us at often less than half. And on the back of each sample, we state just what qualities they possess, fade-proof or washable. Well, I don't care so much about them being washable, except for the kitchen, of course. Mm -hmm. But I do want them fade-proof. I have a lot of pictures you see around oh, yeah, when wallpaper see. fades, even if it doesn't really get ugly. You can never move a picture without ruining the looks of the room. Oh, that's true. And since wards were the people who invented fade-proof paper, I am sure you can count on their word and their guarantee in that. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, yes, they were. The first to invent it and put it on the market. Now, back here on page 86, I think it is. Let's see. Uh, yes, here it is. Page 87. Now, here is that new wallpaper with the oilcloth surface I was telling you about. Oh, yes, for the bathroom. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, here's a little sample of it, too, in your book. You see, it uh, feels rather like a lightweight oilcloth. You could test that yourself. Uh, here, try to tear it. I see you can. Oh, yes, you could if you try it hard enough, but it's difficult to do. Uh, scratch it with your fingernail just a little there. You, you see, the surface is like oilcloth. You can crumple it up in your hand. It smooths right out. It won't stretch. I see here they're pouring ink on it as one of the tests. Oh, yes. Ink washes right off, just like on the oilcloth on your kitchen table. We're selling a lot of that new paper, those tiling designs especially. Yes, those green tiles are pretty. Uh, then these plain ones, uh, those are for the upper walls, I suppose, oh, yes. above mm -hmm. the tiles. Yes. You see what an attractive bathroom you can have, say, with the green tiling paper below and uh, white walls above or, or that cream color. Women are using it so much for the kitchen. And now here's the veneer pattern I spoke to you about for that paneling in your dining room. 
Oh, is that wallpaper? No, yes, yes. <laughs> well, I just glanced at it, and I thought it was really the neat. Well, I can't blame you for that. The pattern is very natural. No, that's the same oilcloth surface wallpaper. But you see, don't you, how easily you can have those panels you want in the dining room. See, here's both dark and light oak. Now, you can wax it or lacquer it, whichever you want after it's on, to bring out the grain, and according to whether you want a dull, soft finish or a bright, shiny finish. Oh, I'm so glad you gave me this book. I'll talk this over with Tom after he gets through out there, mm -hmm. and we can send in the order tonight. Uh, you know, I think I'd like that veneer paneling in the hall there, too. Well, here's the men's coming in. Come on in, Tom. <laughs> well, you two women through gabbing, so us men folks dare to show our faces in here? <laughs> well, if you'd look in the glass, I don't think you'd dare show yours anywhere. <laughs> oh, working men can't go around thinking about their looks, can they, son? Yes, not. I'd say not. He men like us, anyway. We've been working, I'll tell you. You ought to see this boy shovel dirt, Miss Oh, Lord. yes, I was watching him through the window. You like it, Clifford? You bet. Boy, that was fun. Why, that dirt had just shovel. I mean, straight it up just as easy. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind, son. I was older than you are before I could tell the difference between a shovel and a spade. I think uh, you'd better be getting some of the garden soil off your face, Clifford. <laughs> we'll have to be starting pretty soon. And a little brushing of those clothes wouldn't hurt either. Tom, take him into George's room. Let him use that. Everything's laid out, clothes brushes and hair brushes and combs. You see, Miss Ward, I keep George's room ready for him any minute. Well, I imagine that you would. Come along, old cop. George's nail brushes and things are in the medicine cabinet there in his bathroom, Tom. Don't worry about us. We'll find everything. I just want to tell you we're awfully pleased with the shrubbery and things we got from Ward, Miss Ward. Oh, are you? Oh, yes. Tom was saying he's never been so pleased. Mm -hmm. And he liked that idea of the date and percentage of germination on the seed mm -hmm. packages. Tom is businesslike, you know. Well, we're doing a fine seed in the small fruit business this spring. Lots of such things died last year and they wouldn't have to be replaced this spring. Of course, people are being very careful what they get. But most of them are familiar with Ward's guarantee on what they sell. And I do think that that is one big reason why we're selling so much of these, these things like, you know, seeds and fruit trees and shrubbery and so on. Well, it didn't take you long to clean up. No. I promised my face and hands I'd do better by them after Miss Ward left. You know, I'm surprised to see my wife so friendly with you, Miss Ward. Why, why, Mr. Sawyer? Tom, what in the world are you talking about? Well, if you'd seen how she counted on getting that Easter outfit when you held that contest. Now, Tom, I might have known you'd say something like that. For goodness sake. Uh, were you much disappointed, Mrs. Sawyer? Was she? <laughs> well, I think she felt like she had those clothes hanging right in her closet. I told her all the time she didn't have a chance. But I did have a chance. I listen to Miss Ward every day. Oh, I know how those things are. They're usually pretty well cut and dry. Now, Tom. For... Well, cut and dry. Now, Tom. For pity's sake. Well, you're wrong there, Mr. Sawyer. You're absolutely wrong. Every single letter that came in was read. Carefully. Several times. Many of them many times. What? Mm -hmm. You mean every one of those thousands of letters was really read? I do. Most of them, as I said, read over and over when the final decision had to be made. You ask any of the judges. Why well, wouldn't have been in their places for anything? I wish you could have seen the judges trying to decide. You know who they were, of course. Oh, yes. Well-known women. I wish you'd seen them, crying over those letters, passing them back and forth, holding two and sometimes three in their hands at once, considering and weighing the story told in the letters, you know. You, don't you mean see it. now, Tom, I told you that last night they worked right on through without any supper but some sandwiches. They still couldn't decide, you see, and it was close to midnight. And the decision had to be made that day, you know. The day ended at midnight uh, when they finally wrote down those winning names. <laughs> those women were simply wrecked emotionally and physically. Well, my gosh, that's a revelation to me. Well, now maybe you will hush. And the next time wards hold a contest, if they ever do, I'm going to enter again, I and I don't want to be hearing any more from you about my not having a chance to win. Well, I guess you're right, Betty. That shuts me up. Oh, Miss Ward. Yes, Libby. Would you come here a minute, please? Why, uh... I'll go see what trouble is, Miss Ward. Well, thanks, Miss. Thanks, all right. Gee, I'm glad that came up while you were here, Miss Ward. Tom's always a skeptical. Well, we've had remarkably little dissatisfaction with the outcome of the contest, I'll say that. And we've had hundreds of letters from women who didn't win. Fine letters and friendly and kind. And... I should have written. But I guess I just took it for granted Ward would know I knew somebody else just wrote a better reason for wanting the clothes than I did. Yes. Some of those letters were just heartbreaking. And, of course, only 50 could win. Uh, well, uh, uh, what was the trouble, Mr. Sawyer? Oh, those towels of yours, Betty. They're in George's room. What, what, 
Were there, there were towels there, weren't there? Well, you call them towels, all embroidered in lace and stuff. No wonder the kid thought he couldn't find a towel. I got him one of mine. What do you want to hang things like that in a man's bathroom for? <laughs> well, now that George isn't here, so maybe ladies come in, and that room of George's is so handy for them to go and powder and wash their hands. Well, hang a bunch of those things in the family bathroom. Let them go in there. Oh, they do, but sometimes two of them want to pick up at the same time. Well, you just let old George come home and find that bunch of finery <laughs> in his bath. He'll pick him out the window. You'll see, and I'll help him. Smells like a boudoir in there anyway. I was wondering what made it. Well, did you come out all right, son? Yes, sir. I guess I'm clean. I'm afraid I got some water on the floor in there, Mrs. Sawyer. Oh, that's all right. That's what bathrooms are for, to splash it. Well, we must be on our way. Uh, I want to thank you, two for such a pleasant time. Oh, sure, Miss Lord. The pleasure was ours. And do come again. I should say so. And bring the young man along, no, too. No, we'll do that. And uh, be sure now and let me know how you come out with the papering, Mrs. Sawyer. Oh, Sawyer's. I will. I'll write you when I send in my order. You'll probably get it Monday, anyway. All right, I'll certainly be looking for it. You all ready, Clippy? Yes, I'm Miss Ward. Yes. May I start the car? Yes, but then I'll be careful. Oh, I'll be careful. Well, goodbye, Mr. and Mrs. Sawyer. Goodbye. Thank you for everything. Goodbye. 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 Goodb